Hi friends, we're going to review math lesson 8.8, .8, page 211 in your math journal today. Uh, when we first start out, let's always make sure we read those uh, word problems here. The directions, divide the square into two equal parts. I think you could have some variety there, friends. I think you could put it in half this way. But I also think you could try it this way, couldn't you? Also diagonally, either one there. Number two says solve, show your work. Two minus nine. Hmm, is it more on top or more on the floor? More on the floor, gotta go next door. The eight becomes a seven, because I'm gonna borrow a 10 here, friends. And that 10, plus two ones that I have there, that makes it a 12. Now, I do have more on top. 12 minus nine, that's three, and seven minus two is five. And now I saw in someone's work in their math journal, they put this for their unit, and I thought it was so wonderful. They put in friends and I thought that's a great idea so I'm going to use friends for my unit today too because I'm thinking of you all as we're going through this. Now let's try number three. Which number shows three in the ones place, five in the hundreds place, and zero in the tens place? Circle the correct answer. You know the first thing I do when I come to something like this I always draw these three lines and I just say okay let's put that in the ones tens, hundreds, three in the ones place, boom, got it, five in the hundreds place, oh, hundreds is over here, they tried to fool us, they don't know how smart our second graders are, and zero in the tens place, hmm, five hundred, three, there's my correct answer, letter D. Now number four says, Count by fives, how many dots in all? All right, let's give it a try here. What do we have here? Five, 10, 15, 15 dots in all. And that then says here, write a number model. Well, there's one, two, three, three in that row, three rows, and one, two, three, four, five, five in that row. So that's like saying five plus five plus five. And I know that repeated addition is the same as multiplication. So for this, right, this number model, I could say five plus five plus five equals 15. Or multiplication, friends, 3 times 5 is equal to 15. I can do either one there. Number 5, it says make a ballpark estimate. Write a number model to show your estimate. And we always clarify that direction, friends, don't we? We always say, hey, let's, are we rounding to the nearest 10? Are we rounding to the nearest 100? Here we're going to round to the nearest 10. So I look here, 149, and I know that 49 is closest to 50, so that becomes 150 plus 38. Is that going to be closer to 30 or 40? We're going to go with 40 is equal to 190. And I could write that up and down too. 150 plus 40. I add it up and down. 0 plus 0 is 0. 5 plus 4 is 9. 1 plus nothing is 1. Good job, friends. Measure the line segment to the nearest inch. Now you are going to, it does say uh, about. So I'm going to remember that my thumb is about an inch. So when I put my thumbs up there and I count, it's not going to be exact, friends. It's going to be an estimate. So your answer there, I when I use my thumbs, I got two, and then 
if my thumbs are a little bit bigger, I might get three. I would say two or three inches there worth. Friends, you've done such a great job. It's a real delight to have you in class today. Thanks for being so great. Have a good night.